Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of Shopify Multi-Vendor Marketplace app. Today in this video, we will learn about the basic guide for your seller on your marketplace. As we all know, Shopify Multi-Vendor Marketplace app is a great tool to convert your store into a fully functioning marketplace where the sellers get registered and they can upload their products. In this app, the seller either needs to create an account on their own or the store owner can add them and create their account. First, the seller needs to sign up on the store or login to access the account. So, the admin will provide a URL to the seller through which the seller can sign up to access their account. Here, once the admin provides this URL, the seller can click this URL and he will be straight away redirected to this page and the seller just need to click on this join now button. From here, the seller need to fill this form to create an account such as seller name, email id, password and confirm the password and just click on this create my account button. If the seller already has an account, then you just need to click on this login button and here in this box, the seller need to mention the email id and, and the password. And make sure that the email ID is case sensitive. If you forget your password, you just need to click on this forget your password button to reset your password. Once you fill these details, just click on this login to my account button. Once you click this button, you will be straight away redirected to this seller panel. You can see this is the dashboard of the seller panel from where you will get an idea of the total sales of your store, total earning, store statistics, total sold products, recent orders, out of stock products and many more just by looking at this dashboard. Moving on to the next menu that is configuration. The first one is shipping configuration from where the seller can configure all the details about the shipping as well as from this invoice configuration section the seller will manage all the invoice details from his end. First visit the shipping configuration section. Here in this section you can see the seller can select any of the shipping method whether it will be marketplace shipping or free shipping. Suppose the seller has selected this marketplace shipping just click on the save changes button. This configuration is set successfully and from this section, the seller can have their own custom shipping methods and they can add their own shipping rates for their products. Here, just click on this range detail section. As we all know, the shipping range are very important for a shipping method. So, you need to access the shipping method by setting a shipping range and you can set at least one shipping range and you can set maximum 4 shipping range for a shipping method. Here, you can also edit this already set range and you can also delete this range. Just click on this do it button and you can successfully delete this range. Now, let's see how the seller can add new range. The seller can add range on the basis of price or weight of the product. Suppose I have selected this price, then enter the range amount in this box and just click on the save button. The range is saved successfully. Now you can also add new range. Just click on this add new range button and you can add new range on the basis of price of the product currently. Second range is saved successfully. Now moving back to the shipping configuration. Here from this action menu, you can set this particular shipping method as a default option also and just by clicking this view button, you can add a country for this particular shipping method. Suppose I am selecting a country from here and automatically you can see all the state of this particular country is appeared. Now 
the range is already set so you can set this price for the shipping You can set this price in bulk, just select all the states at a time and enter the amount in this box. You can see amount for all the states are already set and once you set these details just click on the save button. In this way, the ranges are set successfully and you can see currently the status of all the states are active. You can also disable these states. You can also delete them and add country just by clicking this add country button. Moving back to the shipping configuration. Here, you can also select free shipping. The next up menu is invoice configuration. From this section, the seller will manage all the invoice detail which is sent to the customer for the orders. Here, you need to mention the address which will be printed on the invoice and here you can mention the VAT number. Here you can write the telephone number and here in this box you need to mention the fax number and from here you can select the date format, the format which you want to print on the invoice and just click on the save button and this way this invoice details are saved successfully. Moving on to the next section that is product section. Visit this product listing. Here you can see the list of all the products added on this store. This seller has added all these products which will be visible on this product listing page. And from this action menu, the seller can edit any of this product and view this product in store as well as delete this particular product. And also you can select all the products at a time. And from this bulk action, you can delete all the selected products at a time. And also from this more action menu, you can bulk edit this product and you can add products by CSV also. Now, from this add product button, we can also add new product on this store. Let's see how the seller can add a new product. From this menu, the seller need to choose the product type whether it will be normal or digital which will be enabled by the admin on his end. Here in this box the seller need to mention the product name. Here you need to mention the product type. Scroll down and here you can add some description about this product. Here in this box, you can add the product tag. You can also delete any of the product tag just by clicking this cross button. You can also mention the product policy in this box. Here you can set the shipping details such as the weight of the product. And if you require shipping, you just click on this checkbox and select the shipping method from here. From this pricing detail section, you can set the price for this product and the compared price for this particular product. Here you can enable this charge taxes on this product if you want to charge taxes on this new product. From this inventory detail section, you can mention the SQ for this product as well as, well as the barcode for this product. Here. You can select whether you want to track inventory for this product or not. If you want to track inventory then you need to mention the quantity of the product. And here from this variant detail section you can add variant for this product also. Here in this option name you can mention the option name and the option value also in this option value menu. 
you can also add another variant just by clicking this add another option button and you can add maximum of 100 variants for a product here you can upload the image of any product also you can select the collection for this product once you set all these details just click on the save changes button in this way you can see a new product is created on the seller end and moving back to the product section here you can see this is the newly added product which will be visible in this product listing page now from the section menu once you click this edit button you can also edit this image as well as add more image for this product suppose I am adding another image for this product in this way maximum you can add up to 10 images for a product and from this view all button you can also drag the image to reorder them and from this action menu you can crop this particular image you can rot rotate this image resize this image as well as view this image you can also delete any of the image if you want in this way you can edit any of the product if you want now moving on to the next sub menu of this product section that is smart collection once the admin enables the visibility of the smart collection from the restriction configuration section of his panel then the seller can easily see all this smart collection in this menu moving on to the next section that is order section visit this order listing here you can see the list of all the orders placed by the customer and the seller can view all the details about the orders from this action menu here you can see the order details from here the seller can generate invoice for this particular order as well as print shipping level for this order again you can export the order also you can also select all the orders at a time and you can generate the bulk invoice for this all the orders now moving on to the next sub menu that is payment received section from this section the seller can view the payments which is received by him from the admin you can see this seller has received this much amount from the admin on this date and this much amount the seller has received on this date now moving on to the next section that is profile section first one is my account section from here the seller can manage all the details of his account such as seller's name seller's shop name store's address city country state zip code seller's contact store store description and also the policies from here you can see the seller can also upload banner in the form of image as well as in the form of video and from here the seller can upload the image and click on this save changes button moving on to the next sub menu that is payment details this is the payment details section from here the seller will select any of the payment methods from which he want to receive the earning from the admin once the seller has selected any of the payment method then then he just need to enter the details of this particular payment which is received now the next sub menu is feedback section from this feedback section the seller can view the feedback which is received by him from the customers 
Currently, you can see this seller has received a 5 star rating from a customer named Test Buyer. And the status is currently active. From this action menu, the seller can also disable any of the feedback. And the seller can log out to his panel just by clicking on this log out button. In this way, you can see this is all about the basic guide for your seller on the Shopify multi-vendor marketplace app. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.